Okay, we are back. Starting with the duty duty roulette. the songs I haven't thus done this one in a long time. Oh, we got two of these. Two Makitos. Yeah, that addiction. Oh shit, monkeys. You know I'm a freaking dumbass. It's early in the morning, so you know, I make mistakes. I'm doing good, Plu. How are you doing today? Oh god. Oh shit. Let's go. Oh god. Oh god. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. And I go back. Yeah, I just woke up like an hour ago. What? Oh, oh god. No, no, don't dance around me. Why are we in the middle? Oh, listen to this song. Yeah! Yeah, that anime opening. Ah, oh, we zero today. Yeah, that anime. Jesus. Oh man, I wish I could have listened to it longer. Oh well. Yeah, I need to watch the Z Re Zero. Like last week, it left on a cliffhanger. All right. 
That one is done. Those trials. This one is 18 minutes, oh my god. That DPS queuing is insane. Uh, normal raids, 15 minutes. Alliance raids, 7 minutes, that's better. I still have to uh, adjust some of the volume settings. Let me see. It's not gonna go to 90. System sounds 30. Voice. Beach. Back to 40. Sound effects. Put it back to 40. Self. Party twenty four. There we go. All right. What do I need to do? The face of war. I don't think I can do this while I'm in the thing. Uh, there's the Gunblade one. The Ishkardian Justice. Use the duty finder to for Delta Escape. Speak with. What the fuck is this? After this we're gonna get a ton of words. Oh, that's a uh, white mage. Ah, oh, man. I'm already on the pool, so I don't want to do anything. Right now. Since it's night time, I want to kind of... Yeah. Look at that. Pretty cool. You know what? We can do... Not that. That's not what I meant. We can do... What we do... And do this. Just do another class quest. Can do Astrologian, Healing, Paladin, Rogue. I do want to get my Rogue up. But I might wait because I want to play with my brother. Dark Knight, Gunblade, Paladin. You know what, let's level up our Samurai because I want to be a Samurai. That's Samurai. Samurai. Samu Samurai. It's 120. Okay. Alright. That's the best gear we can have. Now, where is the Samurai quest? That's what I want to know. Samurai is in uh, Older, right? Nope, that's. Paladin. Oh god, how am I gonna find? The quest. Since I'm a samurai. That's blue mage. Uh. Some, some, oh, blue. Wait, are you there? Blue, answer me because I gotta let you know something. I just. Come on. Blue. Come back. I don't know if you saw it in last mod. Uh, 
that's ninja rogue. It has to be not that one. Drop dead Shiva Dan. I'm a, I'm a dumb dumb. You know what? Instead of doing that, I could just click this, and then that lets me know where the next quest is for this guy. Uh, oh, um, did you see what I put in last mod? What Oculus or actually Facebook is doing to Oculus? Um, if you don't know, it's they are now. It's mandatory now to link your Facebook account starting October if you want to play Oculus. If you want to use the Oculus, you gotta link your Facebook and from then on you gotta freaking use your Facebook account to log in, which is... You know what? I'm not gonna use my... Because I don't use Facebook. I do not use Facebook. I don't want to use Facebook. Like I maybe like a couple of months I log in and see what's happening, but no, I don't use Facebook. Oh man, I can't believe they're doing that. Fuck. Oh, you knew you knew about it. Gotcha. Why are you doing this? I don't know. It's trash. It's freaking trash. So trash. Yo. It, it does suck. And it's the, like, you're doing the perfect thing. You're selling your Oculus when it comes in. But I have a, I do have a working Oculus. But I don't wanna, like, freaking spend another thousand dollars to get the index. I might have to sell mine too, but mine's like a used. So it's probably gonna only go for maybe 200 bucks. How the half the cost of what I bought it for. Uh, why? God damn. Black Mage? Jesus. I don't know what she's wearing. All 72. Seventy two Bard. The Lady Paladin. Oh, that's a cool weapon. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we have to. See a new character, E.T. Notch. Okay. Uh, but yeah, man. Oh God, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my Oculus. Cause I refuse, I don't know, what, what they're doing is shitty. I don't want to support that. Why are they doing this? Shit, it sucks so bad. It's an awkward, you know, it's, you know, it has its problems, but. God damn it. Have I seen who? Did 
Did I just... Do I have to talk to all of these guys? No, what did I just ex What did I just accept? I don't know. It is garbage now. It is it's even more garbage. Oh shit. Alright. Alright. Alright, stop talking to me. Dang, I almost missed my duty roulette because I was talking to that NPC. What to do, what to do, except sell the oculus. people make super tall characters I mean I guess I know why I've been thinking about this the whole day since I found out. Tomorrow is some kind of gaming event. Oh, right, the Gamescom event held by. Um, I completely forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. It was a uh, his. Uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. Guy who hosts the gaming awards. Yeah, Gamescom. So I gotta watch that. Oh, you know what? Freaking... I keep forgetting to do this. I need to install my duty... Not... Uh, combat tracker. I need to do that. I'll probably uh, do it right now. After this dungeon.
Oh my god, I missed things. Oh man. Okay, maybe it's too low. Oh god. Somebody take aggro. Oh god. Fucked up.
Oh my god, I hate this thing. Somebody get me out! Hello? I died? Why? Please. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. 
Please heal me. Thank you. So, I need to install this, hold on. And that should be good. And then add a text. Sing. Installing. All right, let me look up the thing. The thing, thing, thing. Combat tracker. Actually, you know what? Why don't I just show this instead of just listening to it? How do I show this? Okay, hold on. I have to capture this one. Uh, maybe I can capture a window. Capture a window. Capture... This? It's easier than ever be- Yeah. Transform. Or, or, hold 
Uh, is it Alt? Or control? Yeah. No, I don't need to do this. Welcome to my updated advanced combat tracker guide for 2020 that many of you have requested as some information of my previous guide from the last year are a bit outdated and the creators of the advanced combat tracker plugins have made this much easier than ever before. So without further ado, let's start with the updated version. Hail, it's about time. But again, when this is the first time hearing about the advanced combat tracker, it is the best damage meter you can have in Final Fantasy XIV. So when venturing on the DPS analysis journey, and if you want to make it look like the one I'm using in my videos, this is the way to go. Nonetheless, you need to remind yourself that being a third party software, the ACT is technically not allowed to use and it violates the terms of service of Final Fantasy XIV, from a legal point of view at least. Still, if you don't use the data to harass other people or publish wildly that you're using the advanced combat tracker, no one is going to ban you or anything. Use it for your own purpose and let others enjoy the game in the way they want, and you will be fine. Yo, Yoshi P, how many more days am I gonna stream in here, man? How many more days? How many more days? Three days? 28? To start the installation, just use the link in the description, or if you don't trust link... So I gotta install this... Advance... Jesus. Things just throw up Google and search for Advanced Combat Tracker. Hit up that download section and navigates towards that setup link. Click it, save it, and open the download folder afterwards. Here, I highly recommend to right click on the setup X to run some troubleshooting in advance by heading to security and check the unblock box to avoid any protection to interfere with the installation process. Above that, you can head to the compatibility tab to check the box. Hello. Three days, 28. Click it, save it and open the download folder afterwards. Here I highly recommend to right click on the setup X to run some troubleshooting in advance by heading to security and check the unblock box to avoid any protection to interfere with the installation process. Above that, you can head to the compatibility tab to check the box run this program as an administrator to make sure this will always start with administrator rights, which is also required for the program itself to work properly. After that, double click or open that setup file and choose the install path or destination folder. In my case, I created an advanced combat tracker folder inside of the folder where my Final Fancy installation can. Okay. So, where is my Final Fancy? found. If you don't... Oh. Okay. Put this, put that, advanced combat tracker. Put that in. And then browse, go over here, go over here, okay, next, next, close. Comet tracker folder inside of the folder where my Final Fancy installation can be found. If you don't want a start menu folder, just check that box below and either way click on install afterwards and wait for the installation to finish and click on close again. Then we navigate towards the installation path where you installed the ACT and repeat the previous security troubleshooting step which Okay, let me see, go here, there, Square Enix. Okay. 
means right click onto your ACT application and navigate into the compatibility section again and checking the box run this program as an administrator to ensure that each time you're starting ACT it will automatically run this with administrator rights that are required to make it work properly. Next up we got the firewall troubleshooting which means you need to create a firewall exception rule that your windows firewall doesn't block the advanced combat tracker application because it requires a consistent ethernet connection and will request ethernet traffic that your firewall could possibly block interfering with your data analysis. If you got a specific not windows firewall try to find the exception rules section by yourself and create a rule for the ACT application in windows Wait. interfering with your data analysis. If you got a specific not windows firewall try to find the exception rules section by yourself and create a rule for the ACT application. Okay, hold on. I'll do it on both, I guess. Actually, what is he gonna do? Oops. What did I just do? In Windows, just type in firewall into your search bar, then click on the Windows Defender fi firewall with advanced. it outbound on security app and navigate towards the inbound rules section in okay inbound new rule the upper left corner then move to the right corner to the new rule and then click it then choose program click on next and now you're asked to specify the program's installation path where now you need to find the advanced comet tracker app mark and open it click on next and allow the connection click on next again and we leave all the boxes checked on where does this rule apply. Maybe give it a name like ACT for example and click on finish. Then for being on the safe side of things do this for the x86 version as well. So navigate towards adding a new rule. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Click on next app. Mark and open it. Click on next and allow the connection. Click on next again and we leave all the boxes checked on where does this rule apply. Maybe give it a name like ACT for example and click on finish. Then, for being on the safe side of things, do this for the x86 version as well. So navigate towards adding a new rule and do the same path specification again, but this time click on that x86 version, which isn't used in most of the cases, but to avoid any hassle, let's do this. For real in-depth troubleshooting, or if you really cannot get it done and it looks like a firewall issue, you could also repeat the whole step for the outbound rule as well, or maybe even try to disable the firewall for a short moment to check whether it's a firewall related issue. Now finally you can start the advanced combat tracker application and if this message appears you are notified that it will run with administrator rights when clicking on yes. After that and Hold on, hold on, I gotta do it again. With... Let me see... Is it that? Uh, settings. Okay, I don't see it over here. Hadrial program. This, 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 this. Combat track. Okay. 
permission any boat okay did that add it I did add it okay have to do it again that 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 to x86 then okay okay commit tracker application rule as well or maybe even try to disable the firewall for a short moment to check whether it's a firewall related issue. Now finally you can start the advanced comet tracker application and if this message appears okay hold on okay I'm gonna try to do that again here's you are notified that it will run with administrator rights when Clicking on yes. After that and upon the first start of this application it will open up the installation wizard yeah. that is more like an installation black mage for the insane amount of help it offers. Here you should click on that down spotted arrow. Okay, parsing. Arrow and choose the Final Fantasy 14 parsing plugin and click on that big down Enable plugin button, then click on OK and Next. And when being asked if ACT is used for Final Fantasy XIV, this is no trick from Yoshi P to fool you into admitting your TOS violation, but just a file checkup to prepare some installation magic. So click on Yes here. Then you can also check the box Auto Load Recently Changed Log Files and head for Next again. Leaving that auto version checkbox checked is also a good thing. So click on close and then we are going into the next section. And now comes the... And then... Plugins... Big change to the previous version. The amazing ACT and its plugin creators have connected the overlay installation into the ACT application itself. So under the plugins tab, navigate towards that get plugins feature. in the upper right corner. And here you can directly choose the Final Fantasy 14 Plus Others Overlay plugin. Okay. Uh, is that the third one? Final Fantasy Plus Others Overlay plugin. Okay. Click on download and enable. And witness the amazing installation black magic flow into your application. Damn. Of course, this installation cast takes quite some time, so don't throw any movement or impatience in there. After these hard cast installations, the overlay plugin point DLL will appear inside of your ACT, and under plugins, you now got many new tabs that you can start. Hold on. Yeah. Working with. Under that overlay plugin tab, you can see that it changed from the previous Rainbow Mage version, but on the other hand, implemented tons of new features. So props to NGLD. Overlay plugin. Or Nagled, or however the creator is called. Anyways, now we want to add a new preset. In my case, it would be the Kagero overlay, whose link you. Hold up. The creator is called. Anyways, now we want to add a new preset. In my case, it would be the Kagero overlay, whose link you also don't have to put in there manually. Just hit up that. Says new. Preset Kagero. 
preset and everything will work perfectly. Of course, you can also choose different overlays if you want. In either way, if you have chosen one of these... Okay, A, G, E, F, Plugins reload the overlay once or maybe also restart the ACT application preset and everything will work perfectly. Of course, you can also choose different overlays if you want. In either way, if you have chosen one of these plugins, reload the overlay once or maybe also restart the ACT application overlays if you want. In either way, if you have chosen one of these plugins, reload the overlay once or maybe also restart the ACT application and then start your Final Fantasy XIV game these plugins reload the overlay once or maybe also restart the ACT application and then start your Final Fantasy 14 game. Okay, hold on. Copy. Alright, I'm starting it. Aim to make sure everything runs perfectly fine, which should be the case now. If no. Q. application and then start your Final Fantasy 14 game to make sure everything runs perfectly fine, which should be the case now. If no issues are recognized by your ACT app, you can navigate to the ACT application again and under plugins and Final Fantasy 14 settings and click on the test game connection. Okay, let me see. This and under what? Settings Test game connection. Game connection succeeded all of Final Fantasy. Awesome. If everything runs properly, you will get this message. And that's it for the basic installation. Okay, now let me spend some additional minutes on my tips for configuring the Kagero skin or tweaking some nice settings to ACT itself. First of all, you need access to the Kagero menu, which makes this preset or skin so amazing through all the adjustment possibilities we got there. So head for these three little dots and click on that wheel to open up the Kagero menu. If you want your character's name to be displayed, for example, you need to put it in this little line for pet merging matters and especially into the miscellaneous section in the ACT app itself under data correction and put the desired name into the upper box and click on apply. And on Do the I next reload or restart uh... of the skin, it will be displayed in that way. And if you just want the Kagero skin to look like the one I am using, head for the code in the description and copy it to your computer's cache. Navigate towards the Kagero's menu again and head for that import export section on the bottom left side. Paste the link onto the empty line and click on import and when being asked to apply the settings click on yes. You can always reset the whole thing to default so don't worry about it. Still, two settings are not being copied, the UI scale and the transparency of the navigation header. So configure them to your personal desires and enjoy a very clean and ordered UI. That is quite the opposite of my inventory. Nonetheless, let me cover the most important adjustments you need to know about for getting it done by yourself, especially for implementing your own custom background picture that many people have asked about in the previous video. Therefore, we head to the style tab and head to the image section. Here you have to put a picture link into the following code embraced by URL, open parenthesis, single quote, the picture link and then after it a single quote again followed by close parenthesis.
Sorry, he said I was like confused. Cash. Okay. Navigate towards the Kagero's menu again and head to the display. You need to put it in wheel. Things and click on the test game connection. Okay. If everything runs properly, you will get this message. And that's it for the basic installation. Okay, now let me spend some additional minutes on my tips for configuring the Kagero skin or tweaking some nice settings to ACT itself. First of all, you need access to the Kagero menu, which makes this preset or skin so amazing through all the adjustment possibilities we got there. So head for these three little dots and click on that wheel to open up the Kagero menu. Okay. If you want your character's name to be displayed, for example, you need to put it in this little line for pet merging matters and especially into the miscellaneous section in the ACT app itself under data correction and put the desired name into the upper box and click on apply. And on the next reload or restart of the skin, it will be displayed in that way. And if you just want the... Miscellaneous section in the ACT app itself under options and miscellaneous options miscellaneous okay data correction and put the desired name into the upper box and click on apply and on the next reload or restart of the skin, it will be displayed in that way. And if you just want the Kagero skin to look like the one I am using, head for the code in the description and copy it to your computer's cache. Navigate towards the Kagero's menu again and head for that import export section on the bottom left side. Paste the link onto the empty line and click on import and when being asked to apply the settings, click on yes. You can always reset the whole thing to default, so don't worry about it. Still, two settings are not being copied, the UI scale and the transparency of the navigation header. So configure them to your personal desire. Where do I put the skin code? Uh... Oh, let me see. ...and enjoy a very clean and ordered UI that is quite the opposite of my inventory. Nonetheless, let me cover the most important adjustments you need to know about for getting it done by yourself, especially for implementing your own custom background picture that many people have asked about in the previous video. Single a single of your own, just visit upload a picture. I personally... Yeah. I'd like to have a Word document to save my ACT picture links in, so I'm able to occasionally switch my background images. That directly leads to the next topic. Always make sure that you're using a dark background or dark areas on a specific image where any values are shown, otherwise you will have issues to get them displayed properly or seeing them properly. Also displayed in the job specific class colors from the details, brightness level, the background, anything like death counts, critical hit values, this can be adjusted to the advanced combat tracker to the plug-in tab while catching another target. Here you can see the required values behind the screen position section where the first two values are the X and Y position, the third is the width and the last is the height. And while I'm not using this bar anymore, this would be the way to do it. Adjust the first two values by yourself but you can matching able to get rid of certain installation trouble and above all that shows the insanely to your personal desire side. Paste the link and if you just want the Kagero skin to look like the one I am using, head for the code in the description and copy it to your computer's cache. Navigate towards the Kagero's menu again and head for that import export section on the bottom left side. Paste the link onto the empty line and click Okay. 
Click on import and when being asked to apply the settings click on yes. You Oh, cool. You can always reset the whole thing to default, so don't worry about it. Still, two settings are not being copied, the UI scale and the transparency of the navigation header. So configure them to your personal desires and enjoy a very clean and ordered UI. That is quite the opposite of my inventory. Nonetheless, let me cover the most important adjustments you need to know about for getting it done by yourself, especially for implementing your own custom background picture that many people have asked about in the previous video. Therefore, we head to the Style tab and head to the Image section. Here you have to put a picture link into the following code embraced by URL, open parenthesis, single quote, the picture link and then after it a single quote again, followed by close parenthesis. Then click on Save and the picture should be put into the background of your Kagero window. As mentioned, if you want to create a picture link on your own, just visit a website like de.imgbb.com or something else and upload a picture or wallpaper. Click on it and make sure to use a browser that has a show graphic function. Only then you have a clean picture link you can always... Let me see... Okay... Hold on, get it.
Okay, my brother's playing. Let me see. I'm probably gonna end the stream and start it back up. <laughs>